In this video, I will show you how to add your WooCommerce orders to Google Sheets automatically. Now, how this integration tutorial is different from other WooCommerce and Google Sheets integration tutorial. So here, I will be focusing on order placement of multiple products. Yes, when your customer will place an order and that order consisting of multiple products with increased quantity, I will show you how you can immediately collect that data into a sorted way. Here you can notice the order is placed by this particular customer so the details are added in a single row only but even in this single row every single detail have been added with a new line into the new line. Want to learn how you can also do that? Well, I have just built a connection in this Google Sheets and WooCommerce application with the help of integration and automation software Pabli Connect. Yes, it is an amazing automation software using which you can connect multiple applications and automate your task. And I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this site a free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So I have directly pasted the name as add WooCommerce orders in Google Sheets. How about I also mention that for multiple products all right now it is looking good let me also close this bracket and here it is asking for the folder so i will be selecting this main workflow folder because i want to add my automation here only now click on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation so according to our use case i want that whenever any new order is placed from a customer and that order consisting of multiple products collect that order data in google sheets automatically into a sorted way okay so in this way i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window and now the idea here is i will be connecting these two applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let's first connect woocommerce with the pabli connect so that we can capture the order details inside the dashboard of pabli connect okay so selecting the trigger event that is new order created you can also read the instructions triggers when a new order is created so yes I want to perform the same that whenever a new order is created this automation should trigger and here I would like to tell you a very important thing when you will copy this URL and paste in your WooCommerce application basically with the help of this URL only we are going to build a connection in Pabli Connect and WooCommerce so before you copy this webhook URL make sure that you disable this simple response yes we are going to capture the order data into the advanced format into the advanced response so i have disabled that simple response and in this way i have enabled that advanced response okay now i am copying this webhook url and you will notice that it will start waiting for the webhook response okay so going back to my woocommerce application and firstly i will visit the setting section and here i'll be selecting the advanced section because here only we have have the option of webhooks okay give me a second i'll show you everything step by step you will have to choose this webhooks option and here click on this add new webhook button and in this way we can add a new webhook in the dashboard of woocommerce okay so firstly it is asking for the name of that webhook so i'm providing some random name something like connection with 
Pabli Connect because we are actually connecting our WooCommerce dashboard with the Pabli Connect only. Well, status of course will be as active only, and in the topic you will have to select the same topic which you have selected as the trigger event. Okay, so coming back, well the terminologies may differ here, but you can search with the help of this order word. Okay, so this is the trigger event. Basically, this is the topic I have selected, and in this delivery URL. Only you will have to paste the same webhook URL which you have got via Pabli Connect. Now finally click on the Save Webhook button, and as soon as the webhook URL will be saved here, you will notice that a response will be received, which will give us the webhook ID. Okay, so give me a second. Let's wait for that response, and here you can notice we have this webhook ID. That means that URL is saved successfully, and now if I will click. Click on this recapture webhook response button, and after that, if I will place some order, you will notice that the details of that order will be captured via Pabli Connect immediately because we have built a connection in our WooCommerce and Pabli Connect dashboard with the help of this URL only. Okay, let me even show you the same. This is my WooCommerce store. Here I am going to place an order with multiple products. Okay, so I have selected this T-shirt. quantity is one only going back let me also order few other details okay so here we have a phone adding it to cart again going back and how about i select a one more product okay give me a second this mic i am adding to my cart okay so in this way i have added three products in my cart how about i also increase the quantity currently i am placing an order of this t-shirt with four quantity and this mobile phone with two quantity finally i'll be clicking on this proceed to checkout and because i am creating this automation just for the testing purpose just for your reference okay just for your reference so that you can also automate this process so i am using the testing details only here you can notice i have added the first name as test only the last name as customer and here we have other details and again these details are the testing details only okay here we also have this phone number i have provided this phone number and this is the dummy phone number and this is the dummy email address how about i write something like test customer at pablitude.com and we have a total of 40698 okay clicking on this place order button and as soon as the order will be successful here you will notice that the same order details will be captured via pabli connect and sometimes you might have to wait for a minute also okay so waiting for that and here you can notice the response is received now i will scroll down and will show you all the details basically the product name the product quantity the product price and all the details because our objective is to collect this data in our google sheet so that is why i'm looking for the same details okay so here you can notice we have this order id we also have the method we also have the total text and we have this name of product all right you can notice we have this blue round neck t-shirt real you note pro all right we have all the details we even have the quantity of the product okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between Pabli Connect and WooCommerce is working absolutely fine. Okay, and now onwards, what will happen? Every time someone will place an order in your WooCommerce store, the details will be captured via Pabli Connect instantly and immediately because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. And here I have shown you some other example. This is the line items. Here you can find all the product details. the product quantity the order id the customer name and all the details not the customer name i think we have got the customer name into individual field all right here we have the customer details as well 
so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i'll show you how you can collect the same data in google sheets but currently i cannot send that data to google sheets because currently i have captured this data into the advanced response or we can say into the array format okay so i will have to transform this data into the simple format now how i can do that click on this plus icon and search for the data transformer which is an amazing feature of pabli connect using which you can actually convert your arrays into the line item basically this is the line itemizer using which we are going to convert the line items json to comma separated text or values okay so i have selected the same clicking on connect and it will be connected immediately now you just need to pass that line items array and the interesting thing here is i'm not going to manually copy the above details and paste below again and again for every new order i am going to map these details so that these details can be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time now performing the mapping is very simple you just need to click on this field and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down now select that data or you can even search for that data all right we have that line items data how about i click on this button and you will notice that a response will be received and that response will consist of all the order related details and we have the same data separated via comma so did you notice how we have converted that array into the simpler format and now i can can easily send this data to google sheets that to automatically but here i do not want to send the data along with these commas i want that a new line should be added in place of these commas and that is also possible with the pabli connect yes you can do the same within the dashboard only you just need to click on this plus icon and search for the text formatter and again it is an interesting feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of operations within your text okay currently i would like to perform this operation that is replace our text so firstly i am going to find my comma and then i will be replacing that comma with the help of slash n and again i am not going to manually copy above details i will again map this data and as i have told you mapping is very simple simply select that data and in this way it will be mapped and whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time or in next time it was asking to find a value so i would like to find the value that is comma and then i would like to replace this value with the slash and basically with the new line okay clicking on this button and waiting for the response once again let's check that data and here you can notice we have the order id separated via new lines not with a comma okay so in this way we can remove the comma of all the fields and replace it with a new line okay this step for only the order id and i am going to apply the same step for other details like the product quantity product name product price and etc okay and the interesting thing here is you do not need to apply this text formatter step from from scratch here you can find these three dots simply click on this copy step button and in this way the same step will be copied now you will have to click on this three dots once again and now you will also notice this paste step option as soon as you select that option you will notice that the same text formatter step will be cloned here automatically will be pasted automatically one more time so basically you just need to change a few values and click on that button and in this way your second text format step will also work all right let me even show you that in place of text in place of this order id how about we map the detail of the product name and again you will have to map the data from this data transformer by pabli okay remember we have transformed our array into the simpler format and this is the product name and we have this find and replace as it is click on this button and you will notice that one
once again you will get the product name separated via uh, via a new line all right we have the same data okay so in this way i am going to copy and paste the same step two to three more times okay so we have the product name as well as the product id the quantity price okay one two three four so i am going to do the same four more times four number of times okay so give me a second let me click on this three dot click on this copy step and after that i'll be clicking on this three dots once again and clicking on this paste step button and i am going to do the same process one more time okay but this time i can directly paste the step you do not have to copy copy the same thing again and again but here i would like to tell you one more very important thing you might get confused among these text formatter steps okay so you can also rename the step okay remember we had that first text formatter which was for order id okay so how about i rename this text formatter as order id only that is text formatter by pabli product order id okay in this way you will be able to differentiate among all these text formatter steps okay clicking on this update button and you can notice how easily we were able to rename this step clicking on this three dot once again and this step was for the product name so i'll be adding the same name give me a second i'll show you everything step by step and in place of order id i will be adding this name okay give me a second let me also correct the spell. okay so in this way i have successfully renamed the second step clicking on this three dot once again and this is going to be for the product quantity okay quantity now it is looking good i think the spelling is not looking good q u a n t i t y okay now it is looking good and for the last text formatter i will be providing the name for i think price is still left so how about i replace this order id with this price okay so in this way you can also add multiple text formatters as per your requirement currently i am collecting only basic information basic the product name order id quantity and price only four things so that is why i have applied this text formatter only four number of times but let's say you are collecting around 10 to 15 details in that case you might have to apply these text formatters for more number of times okay so let's do the setup quickly this is for the product quantity so simply replace this product name and map the product quantity which was this okay and again telling you whatever the details you will map here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time but whatever the details you will provide here manually like this comma the slash and these details will remain same it will not be changed okay so this is the power of mapping and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay so asking for the product price opening this data formatter step and let's check for the price while the price was this okay so it has mapped clicking on this button one last time for the text formatter feature and waiting for the response and here we also have the prices into the new line basically with a separated lines okay so finally i'm ready to collect this data in my google sheet so simply select the action event that is add a new row and just like we have connected woocommerce with pabli connect now you will have to also connect google sheets with the pabli connect by simply providing the access of your google sheets account okay but i have provided this access multiple times okay so how about i go with the existing connection clicking on save and in this way your google sheets account will be immediately connected with pabli connect and it is connected and because we are connected here you can notice that whatever the spreadsheets are already available inside my google sheets account have started visible here so the name of my spreadsheet is same that is all orders of woocommerce store and here we have a single sheet only that is sheet 1 so the both details have got selected here automatically you can notice the select sheet 1 uh, i am talking specifically about this option okay and now it is asking for lot of details so here you will notice that whatever the 
columns you have added inside your spreadsheet the same column names will be visible here as the field so basically you just need to map the details and in this way the details will be collected automatically to your spreadsheet searching for the name of the customer which was test okay give me a second all right so i have mapped the first name also giving a space after the first name now searching for the last name which was customer okay so in this way i have mapped the first details let me map other details also very quickly searching for the email address again i have mapped it searching for the product name well remember we have sorted the data using the text formatter and here we have the product name so you will have to map the details from this particular text formatter only okay so i have mapped it successfully and in the same way you will have to map other details from these text formatters only okay so doing it very quickly asking for the product quantity give me a second let me scroll down all right it is also done asking for the price and here we have the price also again i will have to scroll it and last let us asking for the total well you will not get that total option among these text formatters you will have to open your woocommerce data only searching for the same and yes we do have the data with the same name that is total okay how about i click on this button but before that i will delete this existing entry so that you can clearly see how immediately instantly and automatically the details will be collected to google sheets okay waiting for the response so the response is received and did you notice the details are added here? let me also correct the formatting so that you can see the data very clearly here we also have the same first name the customer email the product name we also have the order id quantity price and total and every detail are added into a sorted way not along with some commas okay so in this way with the help of pabli connect you can also collect the woocommerce data to google sheets automatically and you can even close pabli connect once this automation is ready using this software because everything will work in the back end once this automation is ready you do not have to do anything manually again and again okay and just in case if you want to access this five to six step automation yes this is a six step automation basically the seven step automation just in case if you want to access the same inside your own public connect account i will also attach the link of my automation workflow into the description box so click on this link sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own public connect account that too for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video